when is enough enough you can be kind you can be supportive and empathetic as a leader you can make expectations really clear you can coach people to do a good job but what if they're still not performing g'day and welcome to this week's episode of ask leah this question has come through from a team leader who has someone in their team who's not performing and they haven't been performing for years. Now, this team leader has performance managed them multiple times over the years. Now it's got to the point they feel like they're micromanaging them just to get basic tasks over the line. And they're having to speak with this staff member almost every day. Now, the team leader is frustrated. They're saying, I do have to get the job done. I've got to be responsible for this. But, you know, what more can I do? When is enough enough? When indeed, because here's the thing, empathy has to be balanced with accountability. And in this case, it's the accountability that is missing. Yes, you can do all of those great things as a leader, be kind, supportive, clear, empathetic, but you can't do it for them. And the accountability for doing the job lies with the other person. So once you have done all of the communicating, the next bit of communicating is to follow through. You might need to escalate with notice and make it clear that if you don't see a change or improvement in performance, here's the next step. Is it formal warnings? Is it now at the point, given this has gone on for a long time, that they will be performance managed out potentially of their role. In some organisations that I've worked with, it has been a demotion. For some, it has been uh, some tasks have been removed from them. For some, it has been a pay cut. The thing here, and I really want to highlight this, that often holds leaders back. In some cases, it's avoidance of the hard conversation themselves. They wish the person would step up and they keep having the same conversations again and again and it just makes their communication meaningless because there's no accountability to go with it, you know. I'm saying all the right things, but I'm not following through. But here's where I see an even bigger problem. Organisations are failing their leaders and they're not letting them hold people accountable. You have to support your leaders to hold their people accountable. I work with too many organisations and have seen too many organisations where they let poor behaviour and performance go. They say they want good behaviour and performance. They have all of these performance management structures in place. But when someone's still not meeting the mark, there's just not the follow through. You're hamstringing your leaders. Organisations, we need to do better so that our leaders can do better. Warmth and strength, empathy and accountability to this leader. You've done all the things for a really long time. It's now time to go and speak to the company about what next. It is time to potentially escalate with notice with this staff member so they are fully aware of the consequences if they still can't perform, the basic duties of their job. But the key thing is there do have to be consequences. People are employed to do a job and it is an expectation that they do it. If you have a communication, leadership, self-management, tricky people stuff question you would like answered, send it through and I'll do my best to answer it for you next week. Cheers.